Hanna-Barbera, probably one of the biggest um, animated TV studios around, um, used to, you know, they were basically known for turning car uh, comedians into cartoon characters, starting with Laurel and Hardy um, and the Abbott and Costello cartoon show. Um, the Alvin Show was a spinoff of a 1958 novelty song and subsequent comic books with the redesigned versions of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Hanna-Barbera's The Flintstones, which ran from 1960 to 1966, was clearly inspired by The Honeymooners. The creator and star of The Honeymooners, Jackie Gleason, considered suing Hanna-Barbera, but he didn't, want to be the, he didn't want to be known as the guy who yanked Fred Flintstone from the air. The Flintstones was the first primetime animated series and became immensely popular. It remained the longest running network animated television series before, this, before that record was broken three decades later. Hanna-Barbera scored more hits with Yogi the, Yogi the Bear Show, The Jetsons, and Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Eventually shortened was just a Scooby-Doo. Apart from regular TV series, this was the heyday of animated television um, holiday specials, um, like Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, um, Bill um, Melendez's Peanuts specials, based on Charles Schultz's comic strip, um, Peanuts. Um, so there was, you know, a, 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 uh, the Christmas Charlie Brown, um, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Um, there's like there's endless um, I think peanuts I think uh, holiday specials actually. Um, and one of my favorites, the Chuck Jones is the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas animated um, Christmas show, uh, obviously based on the original book by Dr. Seuss. Um, the animated film One Hundred and One Dalmatians, the Disney film One Hundred and One Dalmatians, came out in 1961. The production was helped by using a Xeroxography process that, that eliminated the inking process. Uh, remember that Xeroxog Xeroxography talk we had at our Punk Flyers lecture? All this, although this, was relatively, uh, this look was relatively sketchy and not really appreciated by Walt Disney himself, it didn't really bother critics or the audience, and the film was another huge hit for the studio. The Sword and the Stone came out in uh, 1963 and was another big hit. Um, but over the years, it became one of the least well-known Disney features. It was followed by uh, the live-action animated film Mary Poppins in 1964, which, was, which received 13 Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little clip, um, which is a bit long, but I urge you to watch, uh, if you can get to 10 minutes, watch 10 minutes. It starts out with a bit about the cool history of 101 Dalmatians, um, the kind of the backstory, the, the, the actual uh, the author, and how it got made into um, a Disney film. But it gets into a lot of groundbreaking techniques that really Disney's, uh, Disney Studios did. Um, and I think still, you know, really were forward thinking in every way and still, some of them still use today, uh, including how they merge live action and, and, and animation. So watch this. Again, it's a little long, but see if you can um, go to like 10 minutes of it.